DM Shaw, I'm Michael Horn. Once again, here is Fred Dreyer. Let me get him. Got to get the Chuck Knox's bag here and get some medicine, please. You some uh, heavy-duty drugs over there. Oh, something's going on. Uh, where were we? Is that gin or is that water? That is gin. Okay, straight gin. Where are we? Here's where we are. You know, energy. You have you have low energy, don't you? Yes, I do. Right now, I have. I, just, I, I have, just got it going back again. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I, I've got a, a good energy, and uh, uh, the one thing that America doesn't have is any energy. Uh, we're looking at uh, we're looking at six bucks coming up. We're almost oh, at five. Oh, it's okay. Someone told me the other day it's okay that we have uh, five dollar gasoline because we have a Democrat in office. We can't complain because yeah, we have right. a Democrat. And the other that's thing right. that gets me is uh, Barack Obama said, "Sir, nobody can fix this. It's like bull crap. You can't fix this. You're the president of the United States. Fix the freaking price of gasoline. Do something about it. Open up some drilling. Get something going. Start doing something if you want to be reelected. Otherwise, get your uh, butt out of office yeah, when it comes time. That's I'm tired right. of it. I'm that's tired right. of it. Well, you can't think, do anything about it. Everybody yeah. knows you can't. Well, then why are you the president of the United States? If you can't do anything about it, get the hell out of town. Well, there's two things here. Not only is that true, not only is uh, Barack Obama uh, a failure at his own politic, but uh, uh, he, it, he's being helped along and limping along here with this uh, energy problem by the press. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because nobody's complaining about the press. You're the only one that I've heard talk about the energy problem. No, they, no, they no one cares about it. saying how much it is, but nobody cares on well, how to well, fix it. Well, here's what they've done. They've done a beautiful job convincing people. Once again, I hate to use the S word, but stupidity, being uninformed, being lazy, has now uh, you know uh, 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 reached critical mass in this country. You've got a big-time problem. At what point in time are the American people going to stand up and just say, guess what? I'm not paying this anymore. I'm right. not going to pay it anymore. And here's what we're going to do about it. Come November, all of you guys' asses are out. Everybody. Goodbye. Everybody's out, including Republicans. Right. Everybody. Including Republicans. Get everybody out. Just turn the whole thing over. I agree. Go to your season ticket holders and say, guess what, folks? We're going to blow the team up. It's all done. It's a rebuilding. We're, we're going we're to lose the, f the rest of the season. We're going to come in last. But guess what? Next year, we're going to uh, come back at you with a better team. And, and, uh, and that's what you have to do. Now, now the energy problem is, is, has been beautifully dictated to us by, uh, by Barry and the reprobates uh, uh, on the left by simply saying and, and helped by the mainstream media and the inability and competence of the Republican Party. By simply saying this, uh, uh, we have to wean ourselves off of fossil fuel. Of course. Okay? Oh, that's what Barack says do, every do day. You, do you know, Mike, there hasn't been one person, not one person I've heard until you hear it right now, that will say this to you. The world is on a oil economy. Yes. It is an oil economy that drives the world. It's like saying you got to get rid of, if you're going to go to the beach, you got to get rid of the sand. You know, get rid of the sand, and we'll have a better beach. You know, I don't. I want to go to the beach, but I don't really want all that sand in my uh, up in my. Let's get uh, rid of the sand. In my area. Let's get rid of the sand. Get rid of the sand. Let's just have just, rocks. And you know something? If we didn't have sand, it would be a better beach. You know, and so. Uh, and by the way, uh, we're losing sand. But but there's beaches no are made sand of sand. Available. Beaches are made of sand. Yes, of course. And there's oil. And as we all know, there's more oil in North Dakota and Wyoming and Montana than there is in the rest of the world. In Canada, from a pipeline. The, the, the pipeline that comes right out of Canada goes right down to Houston. Oh, to but the let's Gulf. not do that because we don't want any problems. We don't want to do that. It's not about jobs. It's about oil. It's about the next 150 years. It's about the oil economy and the and the country, the country that has energy is the country that's going to make it through what's coming you up. You better believe that. It's coming up. You're going to see it. There's going to, there's going to be a big deal going on Why do you think those here. little Arab nations are so powerful? How can they be so powerful? They got oil. Just do simply this. Get rid of the EPA. If, if a candidate doesn't say, I'm getting rid of the EPA, I'm getting rid of the Environmental Protection Agency, the bye EPA, bye. I'm getting rid of the uh, Board of Education, I'm getting rid of the Agricultural Department, and we're now going to breathe a little bit, and all of you people that have been taking uh, government money through government unions will just will have to uh, reorganize yourself and understand we'll, 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 we'll make a different uh, we'll make a different place for you and you can uh, and, and you can uh, uh, make a living doing something else. But it's not going to be working for the government and these agencies because they're gone. And when, once you understand that, once you're able to uh, 
to come to the grips of saying, we're going to drill here. We're getting rid of all these people that say we can't do it. We're going to have our own oil. We're going to build about seven new refineries right down near the Gulf and on the East Coast and the West Coast. We're going to get rid of all of this crap and all of this stuff that prevents us from becoming independent energy, uh, energy independent. And then you put the thumb, you put the thumb as a provider instead of a consumer. Remember, liberalism wants to take... Uh, providers and 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 creators of content and turn them into what consumers the, the rest of the world is a consumer nation western europe they don't make anything anymore right they, just mean, like we're not making well, anything germany anymore. makes cars what does france make you know what, what are these countries french make? fries yeah you know french fries and uh, you know uh uh, you know, uh, they, Love. Have, they actually have a great mushroom thing they do with mushrooms. You know, they, they can they can take Crepe a mushroom. Suzettes. They can take a mushroom five hundred different ways and make you believe it's uh, you know it's cotton candy. Yes, yeah, exactly. But 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 what you what you wind up with is uh, is a is a is a country that is stuck within its own politic. Somebody in the Republican Party has to stand up and just simply say, you've got to get the government out of drilling, and here's what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. I gotta, I'm going to get rid of the EPA. I'm going to get rid of the, the Energy Department. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dump these guys. Newt has, has kind of chipped away a little bit at it. But, but the point is, is that, is that we, have, we have an energy problem in this country, and uh, it, it, it is, it is going to get worse and there's absolutely no reason we can't attack this business model. The business model that Obama has been, has been perpetrating on America is the collapse of the American system. For what reason? Because once it collapses, they can get rid of capitalism. And once capitalism goes, the Constitution will go. And then the government comes in and applies Western Europe doctrine. And we suddenly, over a, a course of about four years of the next Obama uh, uh, hierarchy, we will be Greece. And we'll have made it. It's successful. That's oil-based, by the and, way. And I don't we, know if we will. We will yeah, we won't consume anything. We'll be paying $9 a gallon like they do in, in, in the U.K. And it's finished over here, folks. And the, uh, energy has a great deal to do with it. When we come back, we're going to hear a couple of bites about uh, what's going on in the energy park. We're going to hear from Mr. Chu. This guy you're not going to want to believe. Don't go away. We'll be right back.